Alright, hello and welcome to my screencast on QGIS. What we are going to do is I'm going to give a very brief tutorial on QGIS, which is actually Quantum GIS. You will be downloading version 1.7 Roclaw. I believe that is the correct spelling. Um, Alright, so easiest thing to do is to go to Google. QGIS. And here's your first thing. Alright, download now. There you go. Pretty simple. You want the Windows standalone installer. You could also download this for Linux or Mac. Uh, and you would, if you're going to be installing these on computers, then right here is the one that you want, and it's the exe file. If you want, you can get the MD5. So, I've already done this before, so I am going to cancel this and show you what, what QGIS does. Alright, so here's QGIS. This is when you open it up. Alright, so here is your file new project. These are the things to do open print stuff like that. This is to add your vector layer just so we can enable some of these other features. We are going, I'm going to add one and let's see what I can come up with. Uh, okay. Um. Alright, so we have some frame centers. These are image centers of uh, a particular area. Okay, then we can also add raster layers. Let's try adding one. Okay. Alright, you can drag these up and down to change the order, so uh, that's kind of cool. And uh, something else, this is to connect to web mapping services to add the layers. This is uh, something you're going to find very useful is creating a new shape file later. Um, Quantum GIS does everything right in the application. So you can create a point line polygon, give it a new attribute, define the type, and say what sort of value it's going to have. Um, why don't we create one right now called polygon, and we'll just call it an attribute would be uh, confidence. Say a confidence level. And we're going to give that a mm, let's say 3. Okay. Add that to the attribute list. Okay, and then it's going to tell us to well, we're going to need to save this somewhere. Alright. So let's just make a new folder here called uh, blah. And we'll call this layer la poly. Cool. Alright, um, we have a new layer. Nothing is in it yet. If you want to check out what is in it, open up the attribute table and you'll see there's nothing in it. Uh, what you can do within this attribute table you can select features and uh, I'll get into that later. Um, so going through the rest of these buttons, um, some other common things you're probably going to want to use are, this is to load a comma delimited file or, well, a delimited text file and then you can choose what, how uh, your values are broken up, your x and y, if you have one, hopefully you do. Um, other things that you'll probably use these this is these are the most common ones for me and uh, normally I would pull these out and put them down here and because this just makes working with your layers a lot quicker but anyway this is your pan zoom zoom in zoom out um, extents uh, zoom selection this is to refresh your screen if you this is, comes in handy if you're going to uh, define projections, which you will need to do, because actually this and this, I believe, do not have a projection right now. Um, and I'll show you that a little bit. 
Okay, so this is to get information about a point, and yes, you do have to select the layer first, and then select your point, and then you get all the nice things about it. Okay, you can also uh, select by feature, or if you use the drop-down button, you can do it by rectangle, polygon, from freehand or radius, and this is to unselect all your stuff. Opens up an attribute table, uh, measuring a line, so if you want to... Mm, there's no uh, quarter reference system right now, so that's going to be hard to measure anything. Okay, and it, uh, map tips. Okay, this is where you're going to toggle editing. So for blah poly, I want to create a new polygon. So this is to save your edits. This is to capture your polygon. Remove the features, no tool. Then these are the advanced editing features. So simplify, add ring, add part, delete. These will become active if you are in them editing mode. So what I want to do right now is I just want to create a real simple thing. Um, let's see, I want to zoom into here. Alright, so now we still want to zoom in. Okay, let's say we want to digitize something in here. Alright, so we want to click on this layer to activate it and start capturing the polygon. And we'll just do a very rough representation of a road part. And for the last piece, you want to right click, save it your ID. We'll start with one, my confidence. Um, yes, I'm pretty sure that's a road. All right, there you go. Now you can open up your attribute table and see your new creation. In here, you can select, and it will activate your. Uh, polygon, and this is the button unselects everything. Um, so if you right now we're in toggling mode and in, in, in uh, editing mode, so we have the ability to add a new column and to use the field calculator. These are pretty cool things. Um, if I wanted to add one, let's say la. Okay, so it's a decimal number. I don't know. It's a width of 100. How about 10? So that's all I want to get for us. And, um, and then you can just type in your number. Whatever blah means, blah 55. Okay. There you go. Now you've got a new column. If you want to add a new column, bleh. Okay. Now, if you wanted to uh, edit this, you can use the field calculator. Um, and you want to update the existing field of blah. And what you would do is just, this is sort of like a SQL um, statement, but um, I don't know a whole lot about this. What I can tell you is that I have used this, uh, and this is a useful feature if I wanted an uh, x, x coordinate, then I would use a decimal string, five points, and to add the x coordinate, it's dollar sign x. If you wanted to add y, you just put y here, dollar sign y. Of course, you can call them whatever you want, but the value dollar sign x or dollar sign y will give you the coordinate. And uh, that also depends on your project settings. You need to have it referenced because right now it will not work. Um, but this is just an FYI. Um, if you Say you uh, cre are creating points, just create a point, you created a, an empty point layer and you just wanted to hurry up and run through it and uh, make your points real quick. And what you could do is click and then it'll bring up a window asking you to give it an ID. Say you don't really care right now, um, you're just going to leave it blank. So what you can end up do, doing is coming back here and saying you want to update the ID field, right? ID is actually going to equal the row number, see? And then it'll automatically populate all of them just automatically based on what row it's in. You could also do row number minus one if you wanted to start at zero or something. So those are just a few tips. Once you're done editing, get out of the uh, editing.
toggle out of editing. You want to save them. Okay. So now you have a polygon. Um, what else do you want to do? Let's say you want to check out the properties of this and you want to make this an outline instead of full. So that is a style. I'm interested in changing that. So you have all these options here. What I want is a simple outline, simple line. And I want to change that color to red. You can also change the width here and just there's a lot of customization that you can do. So you click OK and now you've got your outline. All right. So what else? Okay. 